Hey everyone, I have a quick word to release today. And today's word is, you're a healer. You are a healer. And this word is actually based on a vision I received from the Lord several days ago. And I've got two scripture references that I'll get to in just one minute, but I'm gonna start with a vision. So basically in this vision, I saw like um, a sea urchin, I guess. And it was like in the ocean. And it was almost like a cartoon with a big eye in it. And I asked the Lord, like, what what was this vision? You know, it was like something from like SpongeBob or something. It was just very cartoonish and like an ocean creature with a big eye. And what the Lord um, revealed to me is that, you know, I've had many visions lately about um, ocean waves being healing and living water from Jesus Christ and that healing water and uh, many just visions about healing in, in the ocean and what the Lord is saying today is that if this message is for you and this message isn't for everybody so please take it to the Lord for confirmation it should confirm something in your spirit something the Lord's already spoken to you and always test the spirit behind every prophetic word including mine but if this message is for you um you are a healer and whatever you're doing in your calling is helping other people heal and specifically when i'm speaking of healing i'm talking about um inward wounds not wounds that you can see with the physical eye these are spiritual wounds these are psychological wounds these are emotional wounds which aren't always talked about as much you know when we talk about healing and miracles of healing in um the body of christ and the first scripture reference i received today and just for the vision with the, the eye on it it's through other people watching what you're doing and your calling, they're receiving the healing, the living water. And when you think about a sea urchin, it's completely, you know, in the water and the water just flows through it. So whatever you're doing in, in your calling, other people are watching you and it's actually a helping the healing water of Jesus Christ wash in and through them to heal them of their inner wounds may you know whether or not whether these are like childhood traumas or even different traumas that happen in adulthood these are inward wounds that you don't see with the eye these are these are soul wounds these are heart wounds these are spiritual emotional the things that people hide or mask or self-medicate through addiction through alcoholism through drug abuse, you know, these are all symptoms of, of trauma and of childhood trauma of, you know, emotional trauma. And it's a sign of like emotional sickness when somebody has those addictions and whatever you're doing in your calling, you're helping people heal those internal wounds. And the first scripture reference I have, um, is Acts 2:22. And it reads, uh, people of Israel, listen, God publicly endorsed Jesus the Nazarene by doing powerful miracles, wonders, and signs through him, as you well know. And then the second scripture reference is John 14, 12. Truly, truly, I say to you, whoever believes in me will also do the works that I do and greater works than these will he do because I am going to the Father. So your gift, your gift of helping others heal their inner wounds, their emotional traumas, it all comes from Jesus. It's all because you are allowing the light of Jesus to shine and work through you onto those around you. And because you're doing this, you're teaching people um, or you're leading people to Jesus Christ to seek his guidance to receive this healing and to also see the enemy's playbook that the enemy will attack people from a young age to get them in trauma to try to keep them from stepping into God's perfect and divine will for their lives the calling on their lives the anointing and you know if the if the enemy can keep you in addiction if he can keep you in sin cycles if he can keep you you know seeking self 
self-destructive, self-medicating ways to deal with these traumas, then he keeps you out of your purpose. But if you allow Jesus Christ to come in with his healing water and heal you from the inside out, then you can really beautifully step into that anointing, step into that call on your life. And the enemy knows this. And so whatever you're doing in your calling, in, it's one of your gifts you're helping people heal these inner wounds and a lot of times the inner wounds can be even more debilitating than like the outward things that need to be healed you know um and it's not something that's really talked about a lot uh in the kingdom of god about healing um you know on the inside from past traumas you know we talk about you know healing of cancer or these you know physical ailments but the lord today um he wants everyone to be healed on the inside because you know it's really um a tactic of the enemy to keep people down and the lord's saying enough is enough he doesn't want people to be brokenhearted he doesn't want people to be you know walking around as wounded victims he wants to, you to be fruitful for the kingdom of god and when you're walking around in in your trauma you're walking around unhealed you're not able to fully be fruitful for the kingdom of god because if you don't love yourself if you don't know your own worth then how can you build other people up? If there's a deficit on the inside of you, it's very difficult to build other people up. So whatever you're doing in your calling, you are a healer. And it may not be in the conventional sense that most people think of when you think of miracles, signs, and wonders. But what the Lord is saying today is that this is a very specific calling. Um, it's a beautiful calling because when you help somebody um, heal, when you, when you show somebody that if they seek Jesus Christ, he will come in and show them what to do to heal them from the inside out, this is how you break sin cycles, you break out of addiction, you break out of um, you know, many sins that keep you back. And, and many of you have gone through this trauma yourself in your life and the Lord has healed you. And because you've been through all of that and allowed the Lord to heal you, he's using all of that past hurt to help others. And that's why the Lord will sometimes, you know, he'll allow the enemy to get to us from a young age because he knows that you are strong enough to get through it, to heal from it and help other people. And there's such a need out there, you know, there's such a need um, for healing, even in the body of Christ. People don't take full advantage of what Christ offers, you know, this healing from the inside out to be fully fruitful. And it's, you know, the enemy wants us stuck in the world system. He wants you bound in Satan's matrix, you know, in addictions and fornication and self-idolatry, materialism, consumerism, all of these things that people use to try to self-medicate, but it never fills the hole in the bucket. It never, um, you know, it's never satisfying. And the only thing that's fully satisfying is the healing water of Jesus Christ. It's like the woman at the well. He told her, if you drank of what I, the water that I have, you'd never thirst again. And we all know, how many husbands did she have? Because she was trying to heal. She was self-medicating whatever trauma she had. And he said, drink of my water and you'll never thirst again. And that's what the Lord is saying today is if you drink of his water, you'll never have to thirst again. And many of you have been a special anointing, a special calling to help people heal. So I'm not sure who this message is for today. Please take this to the Lord for confirmation. But this is a very beautiful anointing. It's a beautiful call. And it's something that is just a ripple effect because ultimately when people get healed, they're going to be fruitful for the kingdom of God. They're going to step into their calling. They're going to step into the Abraham covenant. All of these things that the Lord wants for each and every one of you. So um, I want to welcome all my new subscribers to the family. Please hit the notification bell so you receive these messages as they're put out. If you feel the Holy Spirit is leading you to sow into this message, I encourage you to do so. And... Um,
just know that I love you all so much with the love of Christ. I appreciate your prayers. I pray for each and every one of you every day that the right people receive this message. I pray that if you're one of those people out there and you need that healing, go to the Lord. Ask him what you need to do. He will show you the steps to take so that you can be healed. He will help you through that process. He will lead you to the right people. He will guide you in the way that you need to be led so that you can get that healing and drink of that water so that you will never thirst again. So again, just know that I love you all with the love of Christ and stay blessed.